Hey, what's up, guys? Hello, guys. Welcome. So, in today's video, we are going to discuss about the essential off-campus coding question. So, basically, if you are appearing for any off-campus interview or technical assessment, then you might encounter the same kind of questions in your assessment. So, watch this video carefully. And yes, guys, I have already made a lot of videos regarding how to solve the off-campus coding questions. And if you have not seen those things, then you can just check our website which is uh, you can see over here this is the website guys this is it actually and uh, here you can find a lot of questions right so here you can see uh, hacker questions and hacker rank questions after that a lot of questions are there okay so in today's session i will be discussing this question that is essential off campus coding question and here you can see the question starts with something like this and it has got heading trailing zeros right so this is the heading of the question and question says that given n that is n is lying between 1 to 10 to the power 6 find the number of trailing zeros in the factorial of n the factorial of n is defined as the product of all integers from 1 to n so basically we need to find out the factorial of a given number n and after that we need to find out how many trailing zeros are there in the n in the sense the zeros on the right hand side of the number right so return the number of trailing zeros in the factorial of a given number so input specification you can see over here input 1 is equal to an integer for which you have to calculate the factorial output specification return an integer representing the number of trailing zeros example input is 5 and output is equal to 1 in the sense you can see over here the explanation the factorial of 5 is 120 number of trailing zero is obviously 1 so here you can see 1 0 is present in this number so it is uh, saying that output is equal to 1 after that uh, second example you can see the input is 4 and output is equal to 0 the reason being 4 factorial will be equal to 24 and in 24 we have got no i mean uh, there is no uh, 0 right so that's why the output is 0 itself that means there is no uh, trailing 0 in this number right so after that the same question you can say it has been taken from the off campus coding question that is conducted by the metti for uh, the SHL company so right the screenshot we have taken and uh, you can see over here so it was an hands-on session the same question right so you have taken the screenshot and included so that you can understand that yes it was asked in the off-campus coding question and it was not like any model question right so a lot of guys will be uploading the model questions and you can just take a look at that right so this is a proof guys okay so now how to solve this one it's very simple guys first you need to take the value of when that is the value of n Alright, so after that you need to find out the factorial of that number. So once you find the factorial, then use a for loop or uh, don't use for loop, you can use while loop, right? So we don't know how many uh, iterations it will take. So go with the while loop and uh, try to divide the number by 10. So when you divide a particular number by 10, always it gives the last value in that number. For uh, for example, let me just show you here. So it will be, uh, it is most important step, guys. Right? So if you don't understand this, then you will not understand the whole problem itself. For example, 120 is there, right? So this was 120. So if I divide this 10, this divide, just divide by 10. So how much it will go, right? So it will basically, uh, in the sense like uh, 10 terms are 120, it will go, right? So completely. Okay, so now let me just try to remind her. So reminder is 0. In the sense, this last digit is also 0 and reminder is also 0. Now take 12, that is whatever the answer is given. Again divide it by 10. See the magic guys. So if I divide, then 10 ones are 10, it will go. Right? So 10 ones are 10 and I will be left with 2. And this is the second digit from the right hand side and this is the second digit. Now take 1 and try to divide with 10 so it is not divisible because it is less than 10 so the remainder will be 1 itself and you can see the last digit is 1 first digit is 1 and here also I am getting 1 in the sense whenever you divide n by 10 then you will be always getting the last digit of that number so like this I can just check where if I divide the particular number by 10 if it is giving reminder as 0 then I will take one count and I will increment that one saying that it's a trailing zero otherwise i will skip that one and again iterate through so like this i'll be iterating until and unless the given number is less than 10 so once it comes less than 10 i will break the while loop so this is the simple algorithm which i'll be using guys and let me just code it out for you 
okay so let me just go to the editor over here and here i can just write the code for this one let me just uh, take this thing out it is now no longer useful now okay all right so let me just okay so let me just write now i think i should zoom in a little right now it is fine okay guys so i will take one variable int and uh, yeah so whose n value will be equal to sorry whose uh, whose n value is equal to 5 let me just go with 5 first and after that i will store the result in wrong variable because i'll be having a bigger result here so it is better to take the variable or data type as long after that i will just take one count and initialize with zero done after that i will use one flag to break the while loop so i will first initialize it with true okay i have taken the flag now with the help of for loop i will be finding the factorial so how uh, we are going to find we know that it should be iterate through zero uh, for from one i have to start right so from one i have to start and uh, up to n i have to come and i plus plus okay so result equal to result into i this is the simple loop which will find out the factorial of a given number right so this is factorial of number got it all right so next i will use while loop to find out the uh, trailing zero so while i will say while flag in the sense while true you have to do this particular thing so while true what i want to do is basically i will check if result in the sense whatever number we have got divided by 10 if it is exactly equal to zero in the sense the last digit whatever the digit is there at that position it is zero so that's why i will do one thing i will increment the count and also i will update the result equal to result by 10 right so once i do this thing and at the end i will also check if the condition is failing in the sense if result is less than 10 that means it's time to break the loop so i will tell i can also write break here but yes i'll go with flag itself flag equal to false if i write like this then it will whenever the result goes false or uh, it will just break the loop and at the end i will just write system dot out at print ln and i will write count so if i just run this thing let me just see what it is giving me okay so all right so let me just open the console 